guys what's going on. It's Ben here from the Blinks team with another mod for Minecraft. This is Mo Creatures. Um, lots of people have requested this mod and so I thought I would do it. If you have a good mod that you really want to know how to install, just request it by all means. I would love to help you out. So first go to your Macintosh HD. This is for Mac. Minecraft 1.0.0 so you're gonna need these five files and there's this called the unarchiver now this is sort of optional if you have any other archive utility then go ahead and use it I just like to use the unarchiver it's nice and simple and easy so you're gonna need these five files which you can find download links for in the description and then you want to go to your Macintosh HD once you have those downloaded. Then go to your user, which is a little house, mine's anonymous. Then go to library, then go to application support, and find Minecraft. Open it up. Now you'll see a bunch of these fancy stuff. Or, and don't panic though. So, first thing you're going to want to do is op go into bin. Now you'll see dot jars. Now you'll see something called minecraft.jar. Now you want to right click on it and push open with the unarchiver or any other archive utility. Now you want to create a folder. So once you've created your folder, rename it backup, minecraft backup.jar and rename this one dot jar. Now make sure you rename it. It's very, very important. And then just click add and you have yourself a minecraft.jar. Now open it up. Now you'll see tons of dot class files. Now this is basically where the game runs from. So first thing you want to do is just click on one like this so it's highlighted and then push M. It will take you down to the M section. Now you'll see a folder called meta inf. Now just drag it into the trash. I'm pretty sure you can figure out how to do that. Now uh, I'm going to install mod loader first. So open up mod loader can put it below it. Highlight everything in mod loader, all the dot classes. Right click, copy them, and paste them into here, and push apply to all, and then hit replace. There you go. You have just installed mod loader. Now we'll move it to the side. Now we'll go for audio mod. Put it below it. Now you want to highlight, see this dot class? Highlight this and IBXM. Don't even open it up, just keep it as a folder. Copy them, paste them in here. Push replace. Now you want to find P. So click on one and push P. It will take you to the P's and you want to find Paul's code. Open it up and then go into sound and then code X and you'll get these. Now in here, go Paul's code, sound, code X and you find this. Copy it and paste it into there. And you have just installed audio mod. So we'll move that off to the side. That is so you can get the sounds of the more creatures. Now we'll go back until you get back into your minecraft.jar up here. Now we'll go for GUIAP. Uh, is that an L or an I? Doesn't matter. Now this one looks complicated, but don't worry, it's really easy. You just highlight everything once again, everything, copy it, and paste it into the minecraft.jar. Now you've just installed that. Now custom mob spawner, there's only one class, so just copy the one class and paste it in. You've just installed that, and mo creatures. Now for mo creatures, you're gonna back out. There's your bin, and now go one more back till you get to your Minecraft folder. Now we'll just open it up, pull it down a bit. Now if you open up mods, you'll get a mo creatures zip. Now open up mods in your Minecraft folder, and it should be empty unless you have any other mods installed. But um, sometimes mods conflict with other mods, which will give you black screen and stuff. Um, and just click open and it will give you a folder now you want to drag that folder into the mods which is in minecraft so this is minecraft so then you should have minecraft and then in mods you'll have mo creatures okay 
Now you'll see a folder called resources. So guess what you have to do? You open up this resource, this resource. Now I have a mod because I installed this one before previously, but you shouldn't have a mod folder. So just copy this, paste it, and just hit replace. And there you go. You've just installed Mo Creatures. Single player. Check out my video from this is from my last video. And you will know that it is installed by if you check your menu, options, and you'll have this global mod settings. You can click it, and you got Mo Creatures right there for you. So that's pretty nice. So thanks for watching. I hope this helped, and we will see you next.